My name is Beverly Watts. I'm the executive director of the Tennessee Human Rights Commission. I am from a place called Hopewell. For me, it was the best place in the world. It was what I call a colored enclave that existed in East Davidson County. And I went to school until eighth grade there because they consolidated all the black schools and brought them into Hopewell. Tremendous women in this town. I will say that. I know men, but it's the women who have left an impression and who've, who've actually been those who provided path, information, and resources so that I could do what I do. I think sometimes people have described me as the angry black woman because of the fact that I'm determined to put my issues before people uh, I don't back down, but it is a determination, a determination to help people understand what human rights is. I got started during a time where we were still fresh off of Dr. King's death and still looking for change in America. A lot of my life has been spent talking about the whys, talking about the history, looking for ways where we all agree that things should change, whether it's education for young children, whether it's opportunities for individuals because of where they might be in their station in life, or because it's the right thing to do. And I've been in all of those rooms. But it is that notion that if you talk and if you work with people, you can make a change. And I think that's what really makes me want to do it more. I'm always looking to convert new souls. There's a lot of more obstacles today because now we're putting people in boxes and we're defining them by who they are, what they look like, where they come from, more than we did 20 years ago. I know that I'm defined, but it was not as overt as it is now. And so I tell women to understand who they are and recognize that others may not see you as you are, keep doing what you're doing and push through. And it really is back to community. Community is one of the biggest things I knew as a child. I lived in a great community, grew up with great friends. And it was that community that sustained me. And our communities now are more diverse. And if we only pulled together, we'd be great at everything we want it to be. It is not us and them. It is us.